Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. <laughs> if you based your opinions solely on the news and social media, you would think the future is ultimately doomed based on the way our young people are being portrayed. But today, in our full circle, we'd like to highlight some ordinary kids who are doing extraordinary things yes. and making a difference. Awesome. Absolutely. So I'd like to kick this off. I okay. want to talk to you guys about Darius Brown, who is 12 years old mm -hmm. out of uh, New Jersey, okay. Newark, New Jersey. And he uh, loves uh, helping dogs and cats, oh. right? And adopting them look at him. Oh, he's so cute. But listen, his sister taught him how to sew, and so he decided in order to attract more people yes. to start making bow ties for humans and then also uh, connect them with homeless pets, yeah. right? Oh. So they can be adopted. So that's there is he's doing some phenomenal things, and we just want to thank him for everything that he is doing. He was oh. also um, President Barack Obama uh, acknowledged him and oh, all of his great, great works. I mean, this young man really knows how to bring fashion this is so to a huge. He knows how to bring fashion to a pooch, and as you see, it says Paul's on a mission. Yes, yes. so great. You, so should, great. you should link up with him. I know. Right. So that's why this story was so great. I was like, right. let me start. Let me start. But right. yeah, I need to talk to you, Darius. Yes. I really do. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. That's so fantastic. Isn't that cool? What a heart for pets. And I, mm -hmm. you know, we we are pet people. Yes, we are. Dog people, in particular. Yes. yes. Oh, I love it. He did his thing. Yes, he did. Good job, Darius. Yeah, D. We yeah. love you, man. See the circle, love you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Twelve year old. Nigel and 13 year old Shane are brothers who started two rows in the kitchen in Missouri City, Texas. Their mission is not just about baked goods, though, it's about doing good in the world. Mm -hmm. They actually partnered with nonprofit organizations to provide meals for homeless, for the homeless, toys for children, and funds for medical care. They're also raising mm. money for a hospital in Zimbabwe. Nice. You know, it's obvious that these young men are smart, but if you had any doubt, Shane is taking college level math and Nigel is scheduled to start pre-calculus in the fall. Oh and my God. Great. Good yes. job. Yes, they published their first book, Beyond the Kitchen, How to Cook Up Success with Life's Mistakes, and will be donating a dollar for every book sold. Oh, oh my God. That That's is so, so awesome. good. See, man, oh, this, is, this is really the majority of what people are. People right. are really, truly making sure they are giving back mm, yes. because that's what life is all about. If you're not reaching back and pulling someone right here, but really the true level of success is when you can help catapult somebody yes. to the next God, level yes. and say, God, thank you for letting me be a vessel, vessel. to that person's yes. success. Mm. That is real success to I me. Agree. So yeah, this I is agree. perfect. I'm loving this. Honey. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. wonderful to see so many young African-American entrepreneurs. Yes. And they're starting off at such a young age. Mm -hmm. It'll do nothing but catapult them to the next level yes. to help someone else, you know, in the future. And speaking of brothers before, I've got the Gill brothers. They received the challenge from their mom when they were requesting new toys and mm -hmm. games. She told them, look, you get a job or <laughs> you start a business. And they took it one step further and started a business. Wow. So these brothers, Colin, Ryan, and Austin, put their heads together and started hand-making candles in their dining room. And that's in Indian Head, Maryland. Come wow. on, DMV. And then two years later, their business is not only flourishing and helping them buy toys and games, but they give about 10% of their profits to homeless shelters in the DMV area, and they hope to one day open up a candle truck, which they say is like a food truck for candles. Yeah, so, I mean, so that cute. is so new and innovative. I've never even heard of a candle truck right. before. I think that is so cute. Is. But I love the fact when when he when the mom said to them, boys, listen, mm -hmm. you're either going to get a job or you, you you know if you want these toys. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. Let's just get a job. Let's yeah. create a business. Yes. And they went out and they really did that yeah and not only this guys we're seeing a change a shift because they will be able to start the generational wealth yes. they will. If, it's, if it has and not started in their so family soon. already yes. so when you can start and plant that seed just like uh, the budgetista Tiffany was talking about yesterday like planting that seeds about those seeds about financial responsibility they have their own business imagine what they'll mm -hmm. be like as they continue to press forward so yes. it's gonna be fantastic like these young ladies 13 year old Zaria and 8 year old Haley Willard are sharing their love of reading with the world. The sisters go live on Facebook and Instagram and read a bedtime story to their growing fan base. Oh, I love it. Zaria says they pick books with characters who look like them because not, not a lot of kids get to see that in books. Their mother, who has been reading to the girls since they were in the womb, says allowing them to read to the world took some convincing, mm. but she realized she couldn't hold the girls back. In addition to a love for reading, the girls are also writing a children's series to, so keep an eye out for 
them. And I love yes. this story. They, they said moms and dads get really busy. A lot of moms mm -hmm. work late. So we can actually do what some parents can't do. It may right. be too tired to do. Go to Facebook Live, go to Instagram on their page, and they will read a story just you for know what? you. Yes. All of these stories have a connective tissue. And that's giving back, yes. whether if you're giving to yes. homeless or just stepping up in a space where it may be absence. Yes. And they're all young people. Good job, young people. They are awesome. Yeah. They're introducing all these other children to a whole new world yes. with a new book every mm -hmm. night for bedtime stories. I think that's just that's amazing. Too yeah. yeah. That's an opportunity. I need to send Zari and Haley my children's book because it's perfect yes. for them. Yes. It's perfect for yes. their audience. You should. I'm going to DM them. them today. Yeah, yes. about all that. Right. We love showcasing you on the show today. If you'd like to shout out a child, a kid, making a difference in your your community. Tell us about them. Yes, please hit us up at Sister Circle TV.